Hello and welcome. Today we will talk about how to drive a Ready Player Me character in UE5 using Ready Player Me's SDK. First, go to the download page for the SDK and click download for blueprint version. This will bring you to a Google Drive. Open the folder for the engine version you are using and then download the latest version of the plugin. Once the zip file has downloaded, extract its contents. You will now see two folders that need to be copied and pasted into the engine. Find where Unreal Engine is installed on your computer. Go to Engine, Plugin, paste the files in there. If you have a previous version of the plugin installed, make sure to delete it before copying and pasting the newest version into the engine. Once that is done, now we can open Unreal Engine. Open the Epic Games Launcher. If you don't have the Neuron Live Link plugin installed, you can install it now from the Unreal Marketplace. Now let's create a new Unreal project. We're going to select Games and make sure that it's a Blueprint project. I'm going to name it RPM SDK Tutorial and click Create. Now that UE5 is open, you'll need to enable a few plugins. First, let's enable the two plugins we installed from Ready Player Me. The first one is GLFF. Then, let's look for the Ready Player Me. Next, we'll look for the Neuron Live Link plugin. And if you want to use facial data, then make sure to enable the Apple AR Kit face support. Once all of those plugins are enabled, you will need to restart Unreal Engine. Once Unreal opens, make sure you have Show Engine Content and Show Plugin Content enabled for your content browser. Then, find the Ready Player Me content folder. Go to Maps and open RPM Demo. There should be an RPM actor in the scene. Click on it, and in the Details panel, you should see an input labeled URL shortcut. Now go to Ready Player Me's website and open a character. Copy the URL and then paste it in Unreal Engine. Next, find the animation blueprint that the RPM actor is using and open it. Delete the default animation and add a live link pose node. If you want to use facial animation, you'll need a second live link pose node. Now let's open Axis Studio. Either open a file and play it on loop, or connect your suit to Axis Studio. Then go to Main Menu, BVH Broadcasting. Use BVH Edit for recorded data and BVH Capture for live data. Select the UE Mannequin Skeleton, and make sure that this placement is disabled. Choose TCP or UDP, and then make a note of your IP address and port number. Now let's go back into Unreal. In the Live Link window, click Add, Access Neuron Live Link, and input the correct settings. Then click OK. If the Live Link window is not already docked, go to Window, Virtual Production, Live Link. Now go back to the Animation Blueprint and select your subject under Subject Name. Then click on the Live Link Pose node, and in the Details panel, under Retarget, select PNS Live Link Remap Asset. Click Compile. If you are doing facial capture, set up Unreal Live Link Face and add that subject to the second Live Link Pose node. Click Compile. Now if you go back to your scene and press play, you will be driving your Ready Player Me character with data from Axis Studio. And that's it for this tutorial. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.